it's amazing. Uh, it's interesting to me that something that can cause such destruction in one area of the country can be a complete blessing in another area of the country. Um, we've been needing a lot of rain and Hurricane Laura has built, brought in a lot of rain for us that my garden has needed. Um, however, we didn't completely escape the effects of it. Um, but compared to the destruction that other people have experienced, a peach tree falling down on the ground isn't that big of a deal. A little tidbit, goats hate water, including the rain. So Greta doesn't want to come over here because it's raining. <laughs> you may have to carry her. Come on, mama. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. See if she does it without her you can do it. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Put it back, put it back. I already have it. I already have stuff. You looking for it? Here, here, look. Look, look, look. She's like, she's wet. Hey, Greta, look. Look, okay. Look. Greta. Here we go, yay! <laughs> We've been trying to get Greta to hop up onto the milking stand so we don't have to pick her up anymore. So yesterday we figured out that little trick of putting a little bit of her feed. Um, oh, I didn't brush her. On a, where's this brush? Again? Where is it? Oh, it's Sutton was using it yesterday. Um, it's, it's, she's not going like that. Um, it's yeah, it is. It's okay. But we figured out that little trick of getting her, putting her feet up there on the milking stand and she just hops right up. She doesn't even go for the feed that's on the milking stand. She goes straight to where her head's supposed to be, which is right here, eating her food. So that saves us a lot. Try man and retreat. Yeah, right. So she's really good on the milking stand for us, which is nice. Um, <clears throat> but we couldn't just we couldn't get her up on the milking stand. So our next thing is to really work on her kicking, um, so we don't have to hold her. I don't really have to hold this leg. It's just this. Yeah. Leg. But I hold. This she definitely kicks. kicks when she's finished um, eating. So, or when she's finished giving us milk. She's still usually eating. She's just like, okay, I'm done. I don't want to do milk anymore. <clears throat> but she's consistently giving us two cups of milk every morning. Yesterday we got a two and a quarter cups, which is amazing.
All right, Greta has been consistently giving us um, two cups for several months now, which is really good for a first freshener. Um, but it's about time for her to start weaning uh, Esther. And so yesterday we got two and a quarter cups and today we got just a little bit more than that. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. That just kind of goes to show me that she's weaning Esther and Esther's not eating as much. Um, and so we still, uh, only milk once a day. I don't milk twice a day. Um, I let Esther still eat eat what she needs, and um, we will see uh, if we need to start me uh, milking a second time uh, in the evening. I don't know. So this is my first time doing this. I'm still learning, um, but yeah. So I'm pretty excited about two and a quarter cups uh, for a first freshener from a Nigerian dwarf that has only one baby. Mm -hmm. Right now, can I get some to Panda? Mm -hmm. He loves broccoli. Alright, so here is the canning stuff. It's all safely sitting still for a while. And so it's going to go up there. I have nothing up top, so that's where that's going to go. And then my okra is completely dry now. And so... Um, I'm going to blend, well, I'm going to put that in the food processor later and turn it into a powder. powder. That'll be neat. Um, I'm glad I did everything yesterday. I'm glad I did all those things that I did yesterday because my um, hands started hurting really, really bad. Um, this part of this chemo is nail pain and I have five fingernails that uh, really hurt um, and they've already discolored uh, a fair amount. They're yellow. Um, and so one of the tips from women who have gone through this type of chemo um, previously has said to paint your fingernails uh, with a nail strengthening nail polish. Um, and I have some of those and so that's what I've done. Um, it should help me uh, keep my fingernails because I could potentially lose them. Um, but the nail pain is pretty intense for about four days. Uh, to describe it for you, it feels like someone is um, has pliers and is pulling on my fingernails. That's the sensation that I have. So um, being aware of that, I know that my um, there's a lot of things I can't do with my nails hurting like that. Um, and it's just on five fingers right now. It's these three and these two. It has not spread to any of my other fingernails. Um, it's not on my toenails. That's potential for that to happen also. Um, so I'm thankful that it's not on my toenails um, or any of my other fingernails. So I'm trying to, hopefully it will stay in one spot. So upon inspection of the, of the yard, thanks Campbell. We found our apple has fell last night. So we're gonna cut that open and split it. It's a Granny Smith apple. And then some ground cherries came off. Um, and so we've got that. But that's, I mean, that's the extent of our, the destruction, which actually isn't really destruction compared. It's help. You gonna eat that for me? And it's a big one. It is a big Not one. Not a teeny <laughs> Not a teeny tiny one. Can you eat it? Isn't there two? Yeah, there's another one. Yeah. And we have more that will. What do you think about them? Do you like the ground cherries? Yeah. They have like a toast aftertaste, kind of. A toast aftertaste? That's interesting. Ooh, looks like this one has gotten them too. What? And I think it's fine. Extra protein. <laughs> <laughs> she wastes it every day all day. You yeah, try it? Okay. See it? Good? Mm -hmm. What's it taste like? Extra protein! Stop! What does it taste like? Sort of like an apple and a grape. An apple and a grape? Interesting. Six. I shouldn't see as a, of a tomato. Yeah. 